dinosaurs lived about 245 to 66 million years ago in a time known as Mesozoic era. This was many millions of years before the first modern humans, Homo sapiens, appeared. Scientists divided the Mesozoic era into three periods, the Triassic, the Jurassic, and the Cretaceous. During this era, the land gradually split from one huge continent into smaller ones. The associated changes in the climate and vegetation affected how dinosaurs evolved. Are you wondering what was special about the Triassic period? Well, the Triassic period was the first period of the Mesozoic era and occurred between 251 million and 199 million years ago. It followed the great mass extinction at the end of the Permian period and was a time when life outside of the oceans began to diversify. At the beginning of the Triassic, most of the continents were concentrated in the giant C-shaped supercontinent known as Pangaea. Climate was generally very dry over much of the Pangaea, with very hot summers and cold winters in the continental interior. A highly seasonal monsoon climate prevailed nearer to the coastal regions. Although the climate was more moderate further from the equator, it was generally warmer than today, with no polar ice caps. Late in the Triassic, seafloor spreading in the Tethys sealed to rifting between the northern and southern portions of Pangaea, which began the separation of Pangaea into two continents, Laurasia and Gondwana, which would be completed in the Jurassic period. Well, are you wondering what were the evolutionary changes that took place in plants and animals of this era? Plants and insects did not go through any extensive evolutionary advances during the Triassic. Due to the dry climate, the interior of the Pangaea was mostly desert. In higher latitudes, gymnosperms survived and conifer forests began to recover from the Permian extinction. Mosses and ferns survived in coastal regions. Spiders, scorpions, millipedes and centipedes survived as well as the newer groups of beetles. The only new insect group of the Triassic was the grasshoppers. Reptiles The Mesozoic era is often known as the age of reptiles. Two groups of animals survived the Permian extinction. The Therapsids, which were mammal-like reptiles, and the more reptilian Arachosaurus. In the early Triassic, it appeared that the Therapsids would dominate the new era. However, by the mid-Triassic, most of the Therapsids had gone extinct and more reptilian Arachosaurus were clearly dominant. Arachosaurus had two temporal openings in the skull and teeth that were more firmly set in the jaw than those of the Therapsid contemporaries. The terrestrial apex predators of the Triassic were Rosaceans, an extinct group of Arachosaurus. Unlike their close relatives, the Crotodilians, Rosaceans had an upright stance but are differentiated from the true dinosaurs by the way that the pelvis and femur were arranged. Another lineage of Arachosaurus evolved into true dinosaurs by the mid-Triassic. One genus, Coelophysis, was bipedal, meaning that it could walk on two legs. Although smaller than the Rosaceans, they were probably faster as they had more flexible jointed hip. Coelophysis also picked up speed by having light-weighted hollow bones. They had long necks which had many curves and turns, sharp teeth, clawed hands, and a long bony tail. Coelophysis fossils found in large numbers in New Mexico indicated the animal hunted in packs. Some of the individuals found had remains of smaller members of the species inside the larger animals. Scientists are unclear as to whether this indicated internal gestation or possibly cannibalistic behavior. By the late Triassic, the third group of Arachosaurus had branched into the first pterosaurs. Sharovipetrix was a glider, about the size of a modern cow, with wing membranes attached to long hind legs. It was obviously bipedal, with tiny clawed front limbs that were probably used to grasp prey as it jumped and glided from tree to tree. Another flying reptile, Icarosaurus, was much smaller, only the size of a hummingbird, with wing membranes sprouting from modified ribs. Earliest Mammals The first mammals evolved near the end of the Triassic period, from the nearly extinct Therapsids. Scientists have some difficulty in distinguishing where exactly the dividing line between the Therapsids and the early mammals should be drawn. Early mammals of the late Triassic and early Jurassic were very small, rarely more than a few inches in length. They were mainly herbivorous or insectivorous and therefore were not in direct competition with the Arachosaurus or late Dinosaurus. Many of them were probably at least partially herboral and nocturnal as well. Most, such as the shrew-like Isostradon, were egg layers, although they clearly had fur and circled their young. They had three ear bones like modern mammals, and a jaw with mammalian and reptilian characteristics.